Hi, thanks for staying with us on PSL Living. I'm Jenny Newell. It's time for our weekly Adopt a Pet segment. David Lynch with the Humane Society of St. Lucie County is here. And who is this little guy? This little guy is named Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, tell us his story. Oh, six pounds, six to eight pounds of him probably. Okay. He was uh, found over the weekend by one of our board members in their uh, gated community. They just, um, pretty much he saw the uh, wife of the board member walking their dogs and okay. he realized that looked like a, a good family <laughs> so he uh, followed them and uh, you know they realized that he was a loving animal but covered in fleas uh, he's I don't know how long he's been astray for but you can tell he's be he's been you know having some issues with the with his uh with probably maybe even a flea allergy he's been chewing on his tail a little bit and okay. a little missing skin but that's no no problem we gave him something for that so okay. that should you know grow back in relatively soon but um you know he got along with everybody usually when they're first brought in they're they're scared as as you know as, that's understandable right he was just friendly with everybody he came that's up great. to you with their sweet. face oh yeah he, he loves everybody he just wanted to give kisses Aww. um he was dream he was, on the car ride over here he was actually i think having a dream and he kept rolling over and kicking in the Running. air which, yeah. Yeah, yeah which was adorable Aww. um he should be available next week sometime. We hold all strays five days just to give the owners a chance to reclaim him. So right. if anyone does see this and they know the owner, just give us a give us a call. Um, but he'll be up for adoption in five days, and I think you know he'll probably go pretty quickly. Oh yeah, he's very 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 sweet. Microphone just fell off. No big deal. <laughs> um, so we don't know what kind he is exactly. Do you know what kind of breed he is? Maybe uh, not specifically. I mean, probably a terrier mix. Um, some people say he looks like Toto. Yeah, I mean, Toto's a Cairn Terrier, so maybe something of that relative uh, ancestry. <laughs> what, uh, you never know. Yeah, what you're gonna be get. Anything. You know, there's, yeah. I mean, I saw. I watched a video there. They had a DNA test and. Somebody's been thinking that they had a pit bull the whole time, and they had like a dachshund, like Irish wolfhound, something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's So awesome. I don't know how they figure what, what gene pool they're going right, to get right. from. Right, right. Okay. You never know what you're gonna what you're gonna get, probably. Well, where do you so. have Tiny Tim? Is he at the he's Port St. Lucie? Yeah, he's at the Port St. Lucie location, 8890 okay. Northwest Glades Cutoff Road. Okay, just give us the phone number if anybody wants to give a call. Yeah, 772 um, 461 0687. Again, he'll be up for adoption sometime uh, next week, and if you see and recognize him as somebody's dog, right. give us a call as well. Absolutely. Okay, okay. And then information on your website as well. What's your website? Yeah, uh, hsslc.org. You'll okay. see his picture and little profile up there as okay, well. Great. Uh, all our other adoptable cats great, and dogs. Great. Um, now it's approaching summertime. Any yep. health issues with animals that we need to be aware of? Yeah, it's good. We're entering the rainy season. With that, brings uh, those pesky mosquitoes, mm -hmm. and with that, also you know you got malaria. And with animals, you get heartworms. Okay. Um, all it takes is one bite from an infected mosquito, and you're looking at either it's a debilitating illness, and you're looking at probably five to a grand in treating it wow. just to kill it if it does get it. So um, heartworm prevention is always affordable yes. um, at the Humane Society. We sell it from anywhere from 7 to $9 per tablet depending okay. on weight. And is that a monthly so, treatment? Yeah, it's a monthly treatment. Okay. Every month um, just an oral tablet. You know, you can wrap it up in some cheese or, it's, or their favorite treat. Right. Easy to, easy to swallow. And uh, you know it really protects your animals from heartworms. Okay, fantastic. That's great information. And speaking of the rainy season, you have a kitten shower coming up. Yes, yes, <laughs> May thirtieth. Um, that's the uh, date that we tentatively uh, set right now. But uh, really, we're getting into kitten season. We've already had a few litters of kittens stop in. We found we've actually had five come in. Some uh, I guess a mother either gave birth or somebody abandoned it in the in a garbage dump. Oh my. So we got those in. We got a. A couple other sets are currently in foster care, so we're looking for you know food. Um, we're looking for anything to bottle feed a kitten, okay. and fosters of course because sometimes Always. like little kittens that don't have a mom, um, you're looking at feeding that for every two hours. They need a lot of care. Yeah, they need a lot of care. So we're looking for fosters, homes, supplies, anything that okay. can help us. Okay, and again, that information can be found on your website. Yeah, we'll have a flyer with the uh, you know links to um, 
the, the web page for okay, it great. and everything with all the information. Okay, great, great information. Just give us the phone number one more time. 772-461-0687. Okay, let's turn Tiny Tim around <laughs> here. Let's give one last look. There you go. All right, well, thank you so much for stopping by. Such great information. Hopefully Tiny Tim will either find his family again or, or perhaps a new one. We'll take him in. So David Lynch with the Humane Society of St. Lucie County, thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. All right, Tiny Tim. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back after these messages.